Hare Krishna, welcome to Hare Krishna TV. Our news for the day is Iskon Moscow lights up devotees' hearts at Diwali. 1,000 Russian devotees, friends of Krishna, and Indian community members gathered to celebrate Diwali in spectacular style. The program began with an inauguration by local dignitaries and officials. They also had a lamp offering to Lord Damodar. The celebration included simple dance performances including Bharatnatyam, Kathak, Odyssey and Kuchipudi. The highlights of the event was a highly professional drama performed by Mathura, a renowned Russian devotee drama group. The play featured Ram, his brother Lakshman, wife Sita and Vanar servant Hanuman in astonishing outfit lit by lid lights. Around 70 students from different schools, including the Embassy of India School in Moscow, participated in a drawing competition. And the Diwali show also featured a fancy dress competition by children. All the kids received prizes of toys, games and Krishna storybooks. The program concluded with a dramatic firework displayed in the courtyard outside. Karthik Lamp Offering enters Bollywood, reports Mahavara Prabhu. Bollywood fashion designer Rohit Verma invited Jai Pataka Swami to have a Damodar program at his fashion studio in Mumbai. About 50 of his close friends were invited. Maharaj described the Damodar Leela to the audience and a special Karthik month opportunity like a discount offer for those people who are otherwise busy at work. Maharaj gave out Damodar kit to each of the attendees along with a small book of Srila Prabhupada and a box full of delicious Krishna Prashad. Rohit Verma's sister Anuragini Radha Devi Dasi and her mother Rajashri Gopi Mataji who are both disciples of Maharaj played an important role in organizing this program and making it successful. The Janmashtami dress of Shishi Radha Ras Bihari, Gornitai and Sita Ram Lakshman Hanuman this year was both designed and gifted to their lordship by Rohit Verma. Embedding Care in Krishna Conscious Communities The Devotee Care Committee of ISKCON has been researching and working on creating awareness about embedding care in our communities, projects and yatras. After years of consultation and the study of the diverse needs of the various sections of the community, the committee had engaged Rasamandal Prabhu to work on structured courses to systematically educate caregivers and leaders. With his great expertise in curriculum writing and help from other committee members, the committee has developed two courses and is piloting them to further enhance the quality and practical applications of the course. It was piloted at Govardhaniko village Vada near Mumbai in the last week of October and it is Tirupati, Andhra Pradesh, India from 2nd to 5th November. The committee is also working with helping professionals on more specialized courses to teach the various skills required for caretaking. After being vetted by the GBC, these courses would be offered at the institutes at Mayapur, Vrindavan, etc. Rod Smith visited New Ramanreti. Rod Smith is an American politician from the US states of Florida. At present, he is running for state senate. He visited Iskon New Raman Rethi in Alachua, where they had discussion with concerned parents and teachers regarding constitution of set-up scholarship for the families whose children attend the Bhakti Vedanta Academy. He received a Bhagavad Gita and two Journey Home books. He assured his support to the devotees in future. Gopashmi celebration at Iskon Kanpur. On the most auspicious occasion of Gopastami and ISKCON's 50th anniversary celebration, devotees at Kanpur, India went on to celebrate a very big event with many awareness program about cow protection and also launched Sri Surabhi campaign in which they connected many people to their Goshala and they also organized seminars for farmers. This event at ISKCON Kanpur was graced by the city's prominent officers, district magistrate Mr. Kaushal Raj Sharma and Kanpur Development Authority Vice Chairman Mrs. Jayashree Bhoj. The district magistrate commented that ISKCON is playing a prominent role in promoting car protection.
Both of them, along with the presence of Devaki Nandan Prabhu, performed Go Puja and expressed their full cooperation in such kind of activities. With around 70 cows and 20 bulls and thousands of visitors, they performed yagya and distributed prashad made from cow milk to all the visitors. Spreading Krishna Consciousness at Taipei Taipei, the capital city of Taiwan, Japan, was flooded with Krishna Conscious program. Giridhari Swami visited Taiwan from 27th October to 8th November. They went on afternoon Harinam and held an outreach program. The evening outreach Kirtan program was special. Nearly all the participants were having their first explore to the holy name and the basic philosophy. During the sharing session that followed, attendees expressed how moved they were by the Kirtan. The organizers had the attendees fill out a feedback form and nearly all said they wanted to know more and participate in future programs. Several books and CDs were also distributed. This ends our news for the day. For more news, keep watching Hare Krishna TV. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Iskon Desire Tree, for more spiritual videos. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.